Hello? YouTube? Are you guys there still? What up everybody? Um, back with a video after a while. Haven't made a how-to video in some time, but uh, that's all right. Uh, this is what we're doing today. Got a new resin 3D printed Del Sol part that's coming out next week. And I need to show you how to install it. A um, little confusing if you've never done it, but this video will help. I promise. Let's do it. All right, well here's the mastermind of the operation, the Mars Elego 3. This is the uh, 4K model and my curing station. Um, pretty awesome. Limited edition spoon model. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. Be a little jealous, you know. Um, no, nah, I'm just kidding. I had an extra one of those decals, so I threw it on there. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, let me show you this, and let me show you what we're making. All right, so this is pretty cool. Um, take this cover off, and you can see the part that we're making here. Uh, this one just got done. I unscrew it here, but this is the cigarette lighter uh, uh, tray that always snaps in our Del Sol's and uh, this is how it comes out pretty cool um, but I'll show you this more close up but this is what we're going to be switching out today and uh, yeah it comes out looking real nice Oh, and the EPA is going to be mad at me. Oh, I got a bunch of goo. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles goo on me. Hopefully I turn into a mutant now. But yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, bet. So after you get done making it, washing it, curing it, all sorts of stuff, you get this. This is what it comes out looking like, and it's got all these things on it. And you just rip all these off. And you get your part. There it is, look. Just like OEM, just not as fragile um, and not old. Brand new. Brand new part. So this is what we're going to be installing today. Let's do that. Alright, so I've got the center council here. Oh, this is my extra one that uh, I use just to mess around with. Really old really beat up um, let me adjust this camera a little bit for you guys here so you really get a good look at it so here I have one of the 3d resin um, uh, parts already installed in here and I got this in here just to kind of test it but uh, yeah got the OEM cigarette lighter in here and uh, what we're gonna be doing today is Looking at the back side here because this is what this is what we have to take apart. So uh, let's start doing all that business. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take off the little LED for the ashtray, the inside of the ashtray. This you gotta unhook from right here. So that is step one. All right. So step two is on the side here. There's this little connector right here. We're gonna take that off and you're just gonna pull it off. Comes off just like that. That's step two. All right, so step three, we're gonna remove this outer uh, case to the cigarette lighter. So you're literally gonna spin it off. It's gonna spin off of here. Make sure, you, make sure you spin it all the way. You gotta get it off. See how, see how it's all loosey-goosey now? That's how you're gonna do that. And you're gonna see on the other side, it's loose now. This is what's holding this guy into this area. So, we got that, okay? All right, so now you gotta deal with getting all these wires out of here, cause they're all kinda hooked in there together. So you gotta do a little bit of wire management. So we're gonna, we're gonna start by shoving through 
some of these wires to get to get us a little bit more room to maneuver and I'll show you why after I after I get some of these out of here okay so now this is kind of loose now and you're gonna be left you're gonna be left with this guy right here and this is where the cigarette lighter gets its power from so we have to take this apart we have to take this little connector apart from the actual cigarette lighter all right so this might be a little hard to see but they're these little tiny uh, tabs and you have to pop this housing open it's, you can see I popped oh sorry I popped that open right there and now you can access these little uh, uh, connectors inside there and you have to pull pull these connectors out just be careful um, and this eventually will come out okay and you're left and you're left with this guy right here that's still connected to the cigarette lighter and then what you got to do is there's a little connector here that comes off I believe just gotta remember sorry you gotta remember how to do this um, ba -ba 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 -ba. how's that come off again I forget oh yeah so on the back side here there's a tiny little filament and you gotta pull that off and that comes loose now this whole thing this whole wiring loom and connector oh sorry for the cigarette lighter is loose and we can get this out now so as you can see it's all loose now and it'll come out Ta -da -da. there is the back side of your cigarette lighter oh come on camera focus there we go and all you do is you flip it over and you take it out there you go there's your cigarette lighter there's your 3d printed resin trim that's how you do it guys there is your OEM dash sorry let me zoom out here there it is all taken apart and then legitimately watch the video in reverse and you'll know exactly how to get this guy right back in and there's no busted corners can you believe it it's amazing um, that's it though it's pretty simple it's just a little weird if you've never done that before you know what I mean um, there's a bunch of tiny little connectors and some other stuff so um, but yeah there's a little housing too um, not too shabby works great looks OEM too all right, well, sweet. Um, I hope that helped everybody. Um, it should. You just uh, watch the video to uh, take it all apart. You swap this guy back in there. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I don't think I've ever had a Dell Soul where one of these corners hasn't been smashed or there's been something wrong with this part right here. So uh, that'll be awesome. Really cool part. I think this is going to be, I believe, $30. So 30 bucks for this guy. Um, they take a long time to make. So, and uh, it'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be nice to have one of these that's not smashed up. So that'll be great. Um, and yeah, continually 
working with this machine, um, messing around with new stuff. I got another thing in the works that'll be great too. Um, so thanks for watching. Hope this video helps. Reach out to me if you need any help. As always, uh, save the souls. And until next time, guys, peace.